Hello viewers of Africa Media, welcome to your Pan-African television. We're live here from St. Petersburg on the sideline of uh, the second Russia-Africa summit. The landmark event which seeks to gather leaders, business representatives and a lot of other Africans here in the uh, Russia's cultural capital St. Petersburg. On the salon of this event, we are very honored to have met the president of the International BRICS Alliance and the person of uh, Mrs. Larissa Zelenslova. It's a pleasure having you on Africa Media Television. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we'll start by finding out from you what are the key priorities of BRICS Alliance. BRICS, we understand, is one of the organizations which is rapidly growing and has won the hearts of not only Africans, but the world at large. What are the key priorities of this? Of BRICS Alliance? Uh, first of all, I would like to stress that each national alliance of BRICS strategic projects, it's an organization for civil society. It means that for all the people who wants to live in peace, who wants to cooperate with each other, who wants to uh, defend uh, their common values, human values, and that's why BRICS is uh, Brazil, Russia, India, and uh, South Africa, and China. Uh, they are like a magnet uh, because uh, the population of those five countries is 42% uh, of the total population of the planet. And all the people who share the same values, the same aims of those countries, of those ideas, they want to be together. Now we have a representation of our organization in many, many countries of the world. They are, for example, the Philippines, uh, uh, Indonesia, uh, then uh, Iran, Turkey, uh, <coughs> most of the Arabic countries, and uh, <coughs> as far as Africa is concerned, we have uh, representations in all the regions of Africa, Central, Western, uh, South, Eastern, and, uh, and uh, also, uh, uh, which I forgot, North, yes. Uh, so we are very glad that we uh, have so many friends now and we want as friends uh, we want to help each other and we want to help you. We were recently already twice in Central African Republic. Uh, we have uh, a agreement with the government of that republic and we have brought already some businessmen there. We started some projects and uh, we were in Burkina Faso also we have a, a, a protocol of our intentions with them and we want also to help them with everything and uh, we have many many ideas and projects which we are ready to uh, share with you all right. Now you are attending this uh, second Russia-Africa summit, which is assembling lots of Africans here in St. Petersburg. What are the opportunities available for Africans within the BRICS International Alliance? I think that first of all, we want to share with you all, not all, maybe some or many new technologies. It's very essential for you now because you well, you want, as uh, every uh, progressive uh, person, you want to develop your countries. You, you want to strengthen your sovereignty. You want to, um, uh, to, uh, to organize a new life for your people, a decent life for your people. Because you are so, so rich, you have so much resources that we only just want to help you with technologies and uh, to build uh, something uh, in the beginning. Uh, BRICS International Alliance is coming to Africa. You'll be having a summit uh, in August this year. Uh, what are the expectations of uh, this summit? And uh, considering the fact that it is coming to Africa, what do you vision or what's the vision of uh, this summit? You know that one of the most important questions which will be uh, discussed during the 15th uh, BRICS summit in August uh, in Johannesburg will be cooperation with the African countries. 
so it means that uh, they will discuss together with uh, uh, many heads of states of Africa, I hope, they will discuss uh, uh, what is possible, what, uh, what are your needs, what are your first needs, and how we can organize to help you. And of course, the main question, as I have understood already myself, is uh, the payment system, and we are already working on it. And then uh, BRICS Bank and so, so many things which we want to share with you and to use for your prosperity. BRICS Alliance has lots of friends in Africa. I'll call them fans because they are so happy with the BRICS Alliance and the thing. This is an organization that will set them free and you know give them an opportunity to have their voices equally heard. What message do you have for these Africans who are so much in love with the BRICS Alliance and who are behind you and supporting you? So maybe it's not uh, just uh, in particular uh, the love to BRICS, it's uh, actually love to the people, to the ideas, to all the values, uh, to the peace-loving people. Uh, and that's usual, uh, I think, it's usual uh, ideas, usual wishes of all people who share such values. And I would like to, uh, when I was uh, first in Africa, I saw so many beautiful people, so many educated people, so many strong people who really want to change their countries. And now you can see it from the last events and all over the continent. That's why I would like to, uh, to, uh, to see all I would like to uh, wish you to uh, achieve all those goals which you put in front of you. And we are friends and friends must help each other. That's why we are with you. All right. Uh, Larissa Zelensolva, President of Brits International Alliance, we appreciate your time and thank you very much for taking out this time to talk to the Pan-African Television Africa Media. Thank you very much for watching. Still with your Pan African Television of Fake Media. We're bringing you more from uh, St. Petersburg here in Russia on the sideline of the second Russia Africa Summit.